some collectors are attracted to certain items because they're rare, they're valuable, or they look cool. But inside this building is someone who is passionate to collect not just because of its cool factor, but also his passion to learn more about each item. Join me as we take a look at the inside his playground filled with history and his story. Gerald Miller, age 62, was born in a small village of Mancota located in southern Saskatchewan and lived in a country life as a kid. He is the second child of the Miller family. Well, this is Ralph Miller right here, my grandfather, and this is his dad, Carlton, Kerry Miller. By the age of nine, he started his collection, and four years later, he started his own museum using his old grandparents' shed. Well, going back in the day, I guess it's where I lived, in southern Saskatchewan, right? And uh, I hung out with my Grandpa Miller's, my Grandpa Miller and uh, Grandpa Ben Gurton. And uh, they were the pioneers of that area, uh, a little community called Mancota, Saskatchewan. And it's about, Mancota is approximately 30 uh, miles from the Montana border where, our, where we lived on the ranch and the farm. We were approximately uh, 15 miles from the Montana border. Long story short, you, you created your own fun because we were so far away from any activities. Yeah, there was a few activities back in the day in, in our little community. And it was, you know, back in those days, there was a lot more kids and stuff like that going on. But uh, being on the farm, you know, you created your own activities and fun. And uh, I hung out with my grandpas. Every time uh, I would, uh, they'd come and see me or I'd go see them, they would hand me their stuff. And I think it was probably the grandmothers that were some telling them, geez, maybe you should give some of that stuff away. <laughs> right? While some collectors have a specific item that they want to obtain, Miller seems to have an obsession in getting rare and vintage items such as cameras, old meat grinders, and even some old Sears and Roback catalogs. He told us what was his first collection that led him to be who he is right now. I would have to thank the fruit jars, the sealer jars over there. And I do believe the first one came out of uh, south of our place uh, on our land. There was a lot of home quarters. If you look in the antique catalog where they have the prices and that, it's surprising what kind of money you can get for some of this stuff. Like, it's, it's pricey. This might even be a, this is a jewel, yeah. From a small collection of jars, turned into a studio that became his own tiny museum that is the home of thousands of collections. He is an avid fan of historical artifacts from different timeline. Of course, someone's passion can also be a little too overwhelming for some people, especially his wife. Do you think it's a bit of a overwhelming? Some days it's a little overwhelming and sometimes he'll bring in something and I'll say, okay, where did you get that? And he'll say, oh, I've already had that before. I said, uh, no, I don't think so. You must have been at another uh, place where they were uh, giving out memorabilia again. Oh, you, gotta watch, you gotta watch those grad sales, Leo. <laughs> Miller doesn't have any degree or diploma in history to learn more about his collections from tools made out of rocks to old school medicine bottles. He did not graduate in engineering or architecture to build his own studio. And he did not have any educational background to teach people about the history of each item in his collection. All he has is his will and passion. Miller had had his items in the mall for almost five months and is now currently looking for a new place to showcase his collection. And despite the challenges, he is still determined to find new venue and new ways to showcase it.
Gerald Miller always has the passion to collect any artifacts he finds it interesting and filled with history. He rented a place in Lloyd Mall to make a small museum to showcase his exhibit. And with the era of social media, he wants to expand his reach through YouTube, and this time with the help of his grandson, Brody Miller. So what we've done is uh, Miller Promotions is switching from Miller Promotions to the Heritage Learning Center. And that kind of explains what our collection's about and the building would be. So the Heritage Learning Center, well, we're going to start doing that right here in the studio. And that's going to come about here probably when school starts. We'll gear up for it so that when school comes back on ground, we'll have enough. We'll be filming it and then releasing it later on. And Brody's been doing that now for what, since you're 11, 12 years old? Four years. Four or five years. So he's got quite a few videos that we can. And I think the editing part of it too, it, it, it's all apps. What were you doing? Placing pocket cards on the table oh, yeah. of McDavid's teammates. 15 year old Brody started collecting sports memorabilia at a very young age. His collection ranges between 900 to 1,000 cards. He is also the one who pitched the idea to make a YouTube channel and showcase their collection on the internet. Are you the one who pitched to your grandfather to create this type of YouTube channel? Pretty much, I do. I'd have to say yes. Yeah, it's, it's not difficult. Like if you're not, um, like if you find something that is entertaining, it's not difficult to grow. And with the amount of collection he has in the studio, there's definitely a lot of material to cover. Of course, nothing lasts long, and retirement is inevitable. And for some future generation, might lose the interest that their grandparents started. But Gerald Miller isn't worried about this. Yeah, like Brody said, like he's got, you know, he's been not collecting sports memorabilia and Wayne Gretzky and Connor McDavid and the Boston cards here, and there's all kinds of different things. I mean, out of the collection we have, sports memorabilia-wise, it's huge. Even though they currently don't have permanent place to showcase their exhibits, Jerry Miller is determined to share his collection because of his passion to educate people about history motivates him. Leo Cruzat, Primetime Local News.